this is probably a good example of what names will do down the road. I think a lot of names just are going through this process of backing up against the bottom end of the range. And then look at that beautiful turn. So ironically enough, if I was going to say, is there one name in this space that you think actually could rally substantially here going forward? Ironically enough, it's this one. I don't know whether I could justify coming in and buying. I mean, I suppose there's a big W here. So W's or W's or W's. Is this a commentary on you just simply playing whatever the hell the 1% is promoting? Yeah, that's usually what the stock market is like. <laughs> I said the other day that I did like what I was seeing. I have no problem whatsoever if nanny nibblers want to come in and start just nibbling away, running their plans, uh, accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. No problem with that whatsoever. As long as your name is at or below reload zones. If it isn't, I'm skeptical. I don't see a lot of confirmation. <laughs> I mean, Today's Bitcoin price action has got to be confirmation in itself that, oh, I better take it easy here. Maybe let Brian's birthday get out of the way. And then maybe uh, start hunting. It's not a bad idea. There were some names that just looked so compelling this morning, and I had mentioned it in the free broadcast. I saw this chart, and gee whiz, it's come down an awful long way. So, uh, so far that it actually came right back down against its original bottom here. Put in this funny tail, and now it's gone and tried to W out. You want to wait for maybe this W to confirm it, to be all excited. I look at Brian. I want to see a W within a W. I'm very skeptical. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. You just wanted to buy this level and risk against these lows. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. You want to just, hey, you know, I'm going to throw in 1% uh, of my stake against this because it just looks so damn cheap. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, if you did buy off of these previous Ws, sold halves on doubles, got your sort of cash sitting on the sidelines waiting and you're like okay i think you know i'm going to start uh redeploying that into like second cars that's actually where i am right now i'm thinking about going and taking capital sold halves on doubles and just acquiring another car and you see how often this thing doubles probably in the next six months or so we'll go through another crypto friendly market get off another double and rinse and repeat and do the whole damn thing all over again so that's sort of the market state i think we're in are we in a pound the table rip roaring bull you know volumes pouring in uh, lots of projects that are getting ready to launch. We've got fundamental events ahead of us to be bullish into. No, 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 no. But, you know, this is what makes a horse race. All right. So uh, everybody's entitled to an opinion. If anything, this is what makes us living in the West unique and special. I suppose the good part about this, like I said, is, you know, if you are a nanny nibbler, there's some really, really compelling ideas. Like I said, the Frax, I think the Frax coming in here and buying a little bit of that down here is a good idea. I would like to see more W's though, to be honest with you. And ironically enough, you know, the ones that uh, this is probably a good example of what names will do down the road. I think a lot of names just are going through this process of backing up against the bottom end of the range. And then look at that beautiful turn. So ironically enough, if I was going to say, is there one name in this space that you think actually could rally substantially here going forward? Ironically enough, it's this one. I don't know whether I could justify coming in and buying. I mean, I suppose there's a big W here. So W's or W's or W's. Is this a commentary on you just simply playing whatever the hell the 1% is promoting. Yeah, that's usually what the stock market is like. You think Tesla stock ran up because electric vehicles were so great? I don't think so. I think Tesla stock ran up because there was a guaranteed buying incentive with these silly tax breaks that have basically bankrupted a lot of these Western, you know, local governments. How's the uh, budget of the state of California going? Do they maybe have thought twice about just handing away insane amount of tax breaks for all these people who buy these stupid electric cars and thought about the future of their nation and the future fabric of their society, i.e. hyperinflation happens when governments print money that they really shouldn't because they don't have the money. Why do they print the money that they don't have? Well, because they foregoed a ton of tax revenue because of these damn electric vehicles. And of course, the whole thing was a fucking facase with that uh, Fink guy and how important ESG is. And all of a sudden, once he takes profits and is done with the Tesla, and I've shown you repeatedly on the price chart, it's shocking how cliche that is. All of a sudden, ESG is meaningless.
And, oh, it's not our problem. It's uh, it's uh, governments. We shouldn't comment. But I suppose the good part about that is, you know, as I sort of said there a moment ago, half of our job as speculators is we just want to identify what the 1% has deemed as we are taking this market up now and we want to be long. I think I've shown you whether it be off of the both the calls and the puts here that Wall Street is going to get a lot longer of this Bitcoin story here, even through today. Go slowly. If you're a nanny nibbler, fine. If you're a market timer, eh, I go especially slowly here. <laughs> and total market cap, probably our best sort of guide for the broader crypto market. We have a low. We want three higher lows. You can see how the market's setting up that bot level. And of course, as I said there a few minutes ago, if that BITO kind of options expire information is correct, I actually like the idea of this thing bottoming out over the next maybe couple days here kind of idea and taking a serious run up top so that those uh, that 10,027 strike expires out of the money. That's a lot. I mean, 10,000 contracts would be a million shares at $27. So that's $27 million on the line there that uh, they really need this thing to get back above 27. So they, they're not on the hook for that 27 million bucks. Thank mm-hmm. you.